Hey, what's up? This is Kevin Rempel. Uh, just following up on that video I did last week for uh, Bell Let's Talk Day. Thanks for all the support. It was pretty sweet. Uh, I'm sitting here editing m more of my book and uh, just thought of some wanted to share with you something that popped in my mind. And the, su the topic or the subject matter that kind of resonated with me here was to stop kidding yourself. And for me, what that means, I'll give you an example, is uh, as I'm nearing the, the final pieces of editing my book, you know, I'm, I'm reading through it and I've read so smoothly now through, I have 25 chapters. And as it's read so smoothly, the better that the book has become for me, because <laughs> I don't know if you guys think it's so yet, but the better that the book has become, the less value I keep, I feel like it has, and that's entirely wrong, um, because it's, I'm discrediting what I've done so far. And the funny thing is, is that as I'm doing this, I went through the same thought process uh, in 2013, right before the Olympics, like 2013 to 2014, and. It was a summer after we had won the 2013 World Championships and uh, I was on the phone with my sports psych a lot, Natasha Wesh, and I kept chatting with her about, I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to go any further. I, I feel like I've, it's not worth it or nobody cares or I don't care. And I would be talking myself out of the last like 10 months in a four year Olympic cycle after I'd already put in over three years. And it was a psychological battle that I had to go through. And now that I've gone through several months of this book writing process, uh, I'm doing the same thing to myself where I'm like, ah, oh, I just don't care. It's like, it's not that big of a deal. What does it matter? And I caught myself, I made a note of it, sent it to my editor. Her name's Kim, Kim Rempel, ironically, uh, same last name. And she says, you are experiencing whatever every writer experiences, manuscript fatigue, having become sick and tired of what you wrote, thinking what you've worked on is no good and no one and will help no one, and that it probably needs a lot more work to become anything. This is normal. In the book, The War of Art, it's called The Resistance, the force that ceaselessly aims to derail any creative effort. The resistance must be fought, resisted, and destroyed. This is the war of art. And then she says, <laughs> and then she says, welcome to the club. <laughs> I'm like, I don't like this. <laughs> but, uh, so the point is that <clears throat> stop fooling yourself is what I said earlier is that, um, you know, what is it that you have worked on <clears throat> that you're talking yourself out of before you either get started or before you finish it? Um, where, what area of your life are you kidding yourself thinking that something's not that big of a deal, that it doesn't matter to you, or that, that it doesn't matter to someone else? You know, um, these are the th kind of thoughts that I struggle with all the time. Even the video, you know, this video, I wanted to make one for the last two days after the first one I did, because I I've actually twice in the past have tried to do videos and I failed. Or not failed, but like, to me I failed. I didn't finish them. I started a couple and I got I freaked out or they weren't going how I wanted them to and so I didn't finish them. And case in point again is that like, you know, the things that I say to myself before I hit record right now is that, uh, you know, lighting's not perfect. Um, I'm not, I don't know what clothes I should wear. Uh, you know, what am I gonna say? Is it gonna be perfect? And I kind of just got sick and tired of that and said, screw it, I'm just, just film it. And, and to stop fooling myself out of making these videos because I feel like all that I've been through is that I have something to offer and I'm tired of not living up to what I feel is my full potential and I got to get this book out so that you can learn something from that. You're going to get some value out of it, like seeing what I went through, knowing what I went through that you can get through whatever it is that you're going through right now and, and that's why I just decided tonight to just hit record and to stop fooling myself that things need to be perfect in order for them to either get started or be finished. So. Think about that for you. Whatever it is that you're dealing with right now, um, you know, if you have something on your mind, don't fool yourself about whether it's good enough, whether I should do it or not, and uh, whether I should start it or finish it, because uh, you have something to give to. So that's my rant for Sunday night, 
and I will chat again soon.